Welcome to the eighth video in the LaTeX Tutorials, a comprehensive series. We will start in this video from chapter 3 in my book, which is related to the text formatting. In LaTeX, the ordinary text is written with a normal font size, which is considered as 12 while the chapter numbering title sections subsections and sub subsections are written with font sizes of 16 14 13 and 12 respectively so these all are by default now if in the case we need to write different font sizes then this table is providing that information that we can have uh, not like the word that this is 16 or 14 and those four sizes we are actually having the smallest available is tiny size then greater size then that one is the script size footnote size small size normal size large size and larger largest and huge size so this is the maximum that we can get in latex okay so now how to do this thing let's say for example we write slash tiny and then the in the bracket in the curly brackets we write the text so there are two ways to do this thing let's say i am doing all this thing in the abstract so you can do without any you can say chapter or something but as we are continuing in this document so i am writing the things in this one let's say latic tutorial and now i want to change the font size of it so there is one way select the text and come here and write tiny so it will automatically insert those brackets either this slash tiny can be outside let's build this document and we say that latic tutorial is written in a tiny size so with this one i will write this in a normal text so you can compare the two this is c and this is normal text so look here this is latic tutorial and this is latic tutorial the normal font size and then the tiny font size this we can write like this as well if we remove this curly bracket you should note one thing that when you click on a curly bracket then its counterpart is highlighted with it so this is easy way to recognize that there are sufficient brackets or there are no extra brackets as i remove this and i click on this then it will make it red it means no other curly bracket is over here so i can write the curly bracket here tech studio insert two curly brackets with only typing one and this is really very useful because sometimes one forgets to write a bracket and then it gives an error so i will delete this one and i will delete this space so this is a way to write this thing it is equally like this but now you see that is tiny it's outside then it has converted all the text here it is better that we keep this thing here x and we write like this and it will convert this to tiny text i can see all the fx of those like here and the next one that i have is the script size so we can see here that this is the script size this is the script size so i will write script size and latic tutorial and you can see here that it is now a bit larger than that one but to compare this one now is you can observe that i have entered this thing and it has come in here but over here it is showing in one line so latic doesn't consider this one enter here in order to press enter you will have to write double backslash and now you build the document and you see 
update now the difference is much clearer this one is a bit more in size than the previous one similarly you can write with all these you can practice with these footnote size so write footnote side in this small size normal size larger and all this let me write the very two here the tiny and the script and now i write the huge size here so just copy this one and double slash here and i write here like this and just see the difference so Lattic tutorial and this is the huge size okay note one thing over here that if we write this thing with large with small l then it will be of this size if you write with capital l it will be more than that in size and if we write all is capital then it is much bigger than that one and the huge is this one so this is the largest font size that we can have in LaTeX. So you can practice on all of this table. Normally in a technical document we don't need these things. Whenever we are having a footnote size then LaTeX will automatically convert that text into a less font size. So we need not to worry in a technical document, but this was just for the showing that we can adopt different font sizes in LaTeX. In the next section, which is section 3.2, we will discuss some font effects. Although in a technical document, we don't need to use some different font effects like making text bold or italic or something. But if sometime it is required, then we can do like, for example, we need to write the that is in italic. So we will have to convert this thing in italic. Keep in mind these two things that making a given word bold or a given sentence is bold or italic. The usual commands are used which are control b and control i as we do in ms word selecting the text and pressing control b will make it bold and control i will make it italic however this is not true for the underlining is in ms word we do control plus u and it underline the thing so it is not true for that so the very first i do here let's say i am writing the word physics here so i will double enter here and let's write the word physics and i want to convert this word into bold so i selected it and i just write control plus b and it has automatically inserted the command text bold face and I just write this thing and I see that physics is written as a bold face. Similarly, if I want to write the physics is italic, then I will select it and I will write control I. And it will make this italic here. Similarly, we can do these commands directly from the menu here, which is bold, italic and underline. Let's write the word physics and now I selected the word. If I want to make it bold, then I can do directly from here. If I want to make it bold in italic both, then I will write this one here. So it is the first one is text bold face and then slash text it and then physics and I can see after building it, it is not only italic but bold as well. Similarly, I can write here double slash mean it's an enter and I write let's say physics again and I select this and I write underline. So it has written big slash underline and then this one. 
and I can see physics has been underlined similarly you can practice with these if I want to write in small capital letters so it is written as small caps SC and okay in small caps we can write it like this so I just copy this thing and I come here and I just paste it and you can see it has written it in small capital letters although my text is in small letters this practice can also be done from here if I write physics and here I am writing double enter so in order to have this thing in a new line and I go to edit and in edit I go to text operation so in text operation if things are written in capital then it will be automatically converted to lowercase as we have written ours in lowercase so we can convert this thing into uppercase and by clicking this one it has converted the text directly to the uppercase this is the same uh, command which we use in uh, MS Word is with shift F3 we are having means in MS Word we use shift plus F3 and we can toggle between the lowercase the uppercase and first letter capital etc now it's in capital and I go to edit and then text operation and then lowercase so it will convert it to this if I go here and go to the text operation and now I write the title case so the title case strict and smart and you see the first letter has been capitalized now if I write physics the study of nature and I select all this text and I go to edit and then text operation and then title case so we see that it has converted study and nature to the capital letters and it understands that the and of are the prepositions and they are not supposed to be capitalized this feature is unlike ms word in ms word if you select a sentence and you toggle it with the shift f3 command then it will change off in the as well because it converts every letter uh, not caring for the preposition or something so you can practice with all of these like teletype the sensor and the roman so all these the emphasis is almost like italic so in this table i will provide the link to this book again and you can practice this whole table thank you for watching this video